Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to take a design and realistically mock it up into a photograph. Let's get started. So let's say we were creating a design for the side of a big truck. It's pretty easy to design since it's just a flat rectangular surface, but a lot of times clients like to see what things will look like before spending money on production and will ask for a mock-up. So here's our design and here's the photo that we want to mock it into. The first thing that you'll need to do is drag your design wherever it might be on your computer into your photograph in Photoshop. Holding Alt and Shift, I'm going to click on the corner and resize that a bit so it covers most of my canvas and hit Enter to place it. Now if your design's not already a smart object, you'll want to right click it in the layers palette and hit Convert to Smart Object. Next I'm going to click on one of these handles here and right click my design and choose Distort and that will let me move each of the corners separately. So I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to drag each of these corners into place and match it up to the truck in the background. Once you have everything lined up, just hit enter to place it. Next with my design layer selected, I'm going to come over and change the blend mode from normal to multiply. And that will cause my design layer to pick up the lighting and the shadows of my underlying picture. So already you can see that it looks pretty good, and normally this is all that a client would really need for a mock-up. Now if I zoom in a bit, you can see this little rectangular metal plate that should be showing up on top of my design. So if you're a perfectionist, or if you need your mock-up to look just a little bit better, you can mask this off. So with my design layer selected, I'm going to choose Layer, Vector Mask, Reveal All, and then I'm going to press P to select my pen tool, and you want to make sure that in the top toolbar you have Path selected, and under the Path Operations menu you want Subtract Front Shape selected. Now you can just click and draw a rectangle right on top of that little emblem here, and you'll see that it masks the design off and looks a little more realistic. Now, since my design is a smart object, I can always double click it to open it in a new document, and then I can make whatever changes I want. So I'm going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer, and just change the colors a bit here and hit save. So when I close that, you'll see that it automatically updates in our mockup. This is the same method people use to create mockups for things like business cards and flyers. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.